Okay, we're back at Interop in the N-Computing booth, and uh, we took a look at Express VDI earlier with the N-Computing L300 and vSpace. Now we're going to learn a little bit more about using vSpace and N-Computing with VMware. So Kevin, tell us a little bit about what enhanced VDI is all about you and bet. what we're looking at in these demos. Yeah, we've talked to a lot of customers over the last few days, and there's uh, you know two common themes. Uh, you know, one is there's people out here that already have a VMware investment. So they've you know, spent the last few years building up that virtual infrastructure. They're trying to figure out new ways to leverage that virtual infrastructure and get more bang for their buck. So they're looking at VDI. And we have other customers that have come here that, uh, that are just interested in VDI because you know, they're coming from the desktop side and uh, you know, they are understanding the new technology and really just you know, want something that's you know, more efficient, easier to manage and can save some costs. Right. Uh, so, so that's really what we're showing here. So yep. VMware has uh, is really built a lot of success around server consolidation, server virtualization. They're getting into desktop virtualization. Tell us uh, how we can leverage VMware for a desktop virtualization solution built with N-Computing. You bet. So uh, you know, using uh, you know, vSpace uh, and uh, the L300 uh, you know, in a, a VMware uh, you know, ESX environment is, is simple and powerful. Uh, what, we, what we have uh, shown here is a, a physical machine, and then uh, installed on that is a hypervisor. And in this case, uh, you know we've used ESXi4 uh, you with use other hypervisors. Yeah, absolutely, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, you know what you use. Uh, ESX is just certainly one of the popular ones that are out there. Uh, so Hyper-V or Zen Server would work in this environment yep. too. Great. Absolutely. Okay. So now on top of that, we've built a number of virtual machines, and you know in a typical one-to-one -one VDI, you know you would have a virtual machine for every user. And that means that when I start looking at my you know, virtual infrastructure, you know, I'm going to have hundreds of virtual machines spread across you know, multiple uh, uh, boxes, uh, you know, lots of different templates, and you, know, you need a lot of tools to try to manage that. But what we're doing is very simply just creating a virtual machine for maybe each user type. Okay. So in our example, uh, you know, we've uh, created a template for customer service representatives. And then we've built just you know, two virtual machines to handle up to 60 uh, customer service rep representatives on the floor, which really makes it simple, easy to manage compared to uh, these you know, one to one VDI type models. So you're effectively taking what uh, was an Express VDI, just the basic vSpace installed on hardware, using VMware server consolidation to put those into virtual machines. So basically, instead of one to one, user to virtual machine, we've got many users on a single virtual machine, so it sounds like you could get hundreds of users on a single physical server. Right? Absolutely, a lot more efficiency, and it really does make sense, because you know, as soon as people start trying to figure out you know, how many virtual desktops do I need to deploy, they have to do that scaling, they have to figure out how much iron they're going to buy, uh, you know, so you, know, you could do dynamic provisioning, but does it really buy anything? Uh, right. So, you know, a lot of people we've talked to, they, they can understand this. It's easy to manage. Uh, they can take servers in and out for maintenance, uh, you know, build new ones from the template. All the tools uh, and the convenience that they're used to from their vSphere server. So how does this look from a cost point up front? Because uh, a lot of, uh, certainly what thin client vendors have historically pitched is a TCO approach where you spend more up front but you save money in years three, four, and five. How does this compare from a cost standpoint to those architectures and even to just re replacing with a standard desktop PC? Yeah, I mean, our, our model is really set up where you can you know, save money on day one. So uh, if you have, um, you know, if, if you're doing desktops today, uh, you know, even if you are, are managing those somewhat well, you know, it shouldn't have to be a TCO story that allows you to make the change. Uh, you know, so when we talk to purchasing agents or you know IT managers responsible for desktop, you know they could take the same budget that they would use for a PC refresh, actually move to our technology, both save money, you know, and or put that money towards uh, you know expanding other projects. Right. So it looks like this enhanced VDI approach really uh, reduces the amount of overhead you need per user, saving significantly compared to desktop PCs and, and traditional yep. clients, yep. which is great. And it looks like the performance when running on top of a virtual machine with multiple users is, uh, is just as good as what we were looking yep. at with Express VDI. Yeah, okay, absolutely. Full screen motion video again here with the L300. Yep. Well, uh, I guess uh, the next question is, how, how does this architecture work if you've got Citrix applications in your environment and, you're, and you've been using Citrix for a while? Can you work with that as well? You bet, yeah. I'll show you an example over here. Okay, great.